Canva AI video generator tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone, welcome back. So if you're looking to generate amazing videos using Canva's AI video generator, you are in the right place because Canva has newly introduced Canva AI and all you need is a Canva account, nothing else. So let's jump right in. To get started with using Canva's AI video generator, all you need to do is sign up to Canva using your email address. Once you have signed up to Canva using your email address, you are going to go into Canva AI on the top. Once you do that, you're going to simply head on over and you can describe your idea to bring it to life. So you can even do a voice prompt and you can chat using your voice. Now I am going to ask it to create a video of a cute cat walking down the street. And once I ask it to do so, it's going to generate a video but when you're looking to generate a video, first off, it's going to show it to you in the form of an image. So how can you take this image and then convert that into a video? Well, this is where a lot of people get confused is that they directly click on Canva AI and they try to create videos from over here. But with Canva, you are not able to create images from here. You are actually going to go back into your designs and open up a canvas size of the type of video you want to generate. So I'm going to click on a regular video size. I'm just going to go with a custom size and I'm going to make this a standard horizontal canvas. And once I open this up, this will bring me a simple canvas for a Canva design, which might ponder you to ask the question is that how are we going to convert this basic little thing into an amazing video? Well, Canva videos are actually enabled in Magic Media, which is included in Canva. So if you click on the left over here, onto apps, on the left menu bar or toolbar on Canva, you can search for Magic Media. Once you search for Magic Media over here, then you are going to click on Magic Media and you will see three tab options, starting off with images, graphics, and then videos. Now from here, you're going to click on videos. And once you click on videos, you can ask it to inspire you. So they have several different pre-built prompts that you can use. Now I want it to be something very cute. So I am going to ask it to build a very basic shot, a steady handheld shot of a group of puppies playing in the park, chasing each other, wagging their tails in even natural light. Now, here is where you are going to be very mindful is that you will see on the bottom, you have to use one of 50 credits and they are going to refresh at the start of the month. So these credits are going to be provided with Magic Media. This is separate from Canva's own AI credit system. So we're going to click on generate video and you need to be very specific on the type of video you want. So you need to define all of those things within your prompt because your prompt is what is basically going to be creating and building your entire video. So it's really essential that your prompt is doing it correctly. In the meanwhile, on the top, you are going to title your canvas. So this is going to be our AI video canvas, and we're just going to title that over here. Now, here we have everything ready. This is what it looks like, and we're going to be waiting a couple of seconds. So just like so, our video has now been created. Once your video is created, it's not directly moved into the canvas. So on the left, you will see the video is created. And if you hover your cursor over the video, it's going to play the video. When you click on the video, it's going to be added to your canvas and it's going to be exactly in the same proportions as your canvas. So you can fit your entire screen onto this like so, and then you can play your video to see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's very cute. It's very nice. And currently Magic Media is still evolving this tech. So if the video does not seem right, you can always report the video. Now I'm going to clear this and I'm going to show you guys a different type of prompt that we can create. Not only that, but Magic Media gives you the ability to generate images with different styles. So you can choose the style that you want. If you want neon styles or any other type of styles. However, this is not applicable to the video generation feature. So when you're generating videos, you're not going to have the capability to create a particular style based upon predefined styles. 
but you can ask it to create your own type of style based upon your prompt. So we are going to ask it to create a video or a model walking down, down a ramp wearing clothes made of gold, audience clapping, a long video clip. Now I'm going to wait for this to be generated, then I'm going to show you guys what is going to happen when you don't define the camera angles, the shot views, as well as the art style, because I have not defined any of those things within this prompt. So right now we have provided all the generic information without providing very specific info and you guys can see this is what it has created. Now this is a very decent shot but if you were thinking of a catwalk or a ramp walk of the model walking down the ramp in a front view angle then this is probably not what you expected. So how can we improve upon this? First off, you need to specify what you're trying to achieve with your prompt and you need to add a script prompt with visual descriptions as well as any type of assisting elements you want to add. You also need to make sure to add the camera movement as well as define the actions clearly. So I'm going to ask it for a model walking down a ramp wearing clothes made of gold, audience clapping, and then I'm going to ask it a front view shot without any camera movement. The model poses with her hand on her hip. The model is blonde and wearing high heels. Now I have defined more things within this prompt and you guys will see a clear difference when it comes to the video that is generated. Now you guys can see our new video and this is what it looks like. And you guys can see that it is glitching at the start a bit, but I don't think that this is a very stable shot. So what I can do is that I can ask it to make it hyper realistic. This could help my prompt. Then I can ask it to remove any of the background elements because if it removes the background elements and I get the shot of the model correctly, then I can move forward with adding background elements. So you are going to have all of these videos saved. Uh, you can go into your uploads and within your uploads, you can go into videos and all of the videos that you generated using Magic Media will appear here. Magic Media has a limitation where it can only generate four seconds worth of content at once. So you want to be able to take your prompt and then expand on it so that you can generate similar videos again and again. If you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, you guys can leave those in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.